so as you can see here guys this is my primary router and this is my secondary router this one is made by Tenda and this one came with the BSNL broadband so I will be using this router to extend my Wi-Fi range so now let's boot up this router and uh, let me factory reset this as you can see here guys the router is booting up so now we need to factory reset this router by pressing this reset button So as you can see here guys the factory reset has been completed. So as you can see here guys I have connected the secondary router via the LAN cable to my laptop and please don't connect it via the Wi-Fi because we will be changing this router's IP address. So after that open up your favorite web browser and type in 192.168.1.1 and you will come up with this login page and by default the username and password will be admin and admin if you don't know your username and password google is your best friend and after that go into interface setup in that lan so here is our dhcp server and you need to disable this and you need to change the router IP address to 192.168. Dot, I think I will change it to 7 and click on save so after that as you can see here guys my router's IP address has been changed to 192.168.1.7 and type in your username and password once again And now what you need to do is you need to configure your Wi-Fi. So going into wireless setup and here you need to activate the access point and I will set up the channel to 7. So now what I will do is I will give the same SSID as my primary router has and I will set the authentication as WPA to PSK and the same encryption type and I will give the same password and after that I will click on save so what will happen is by giving the same SSID and password your device will automatically select the strongest network available in your area So as you can see here guys, I have set up this LAN cable which will go all the way to another room in which I will be keeping this secondary router and uh, let's see how it works. So as you can see here guys, it's showing only one SSID as we have merged the two router to work as a single router and uh, if we go into Wi-Fi analyzer app, so here is the app and as you can see here here are our two routers and the router number one which is primary router is placed in my room and the router number two which is secondary router is placed in another room if i move into this this area i will be connected to router number two and if i move to this area which is towards my room and i will be connected automatically to this primary router as we have given the same SSID and password so this is how it works so I hope this video was helpful for you guys